Hi! Hello there, audience. I would like to talk to you today about grammar. And since I am talking to an audience of geeks, nerds, and obsessive compulsives, I know you will all share in my passion of dissecting something down to its smallest component and lecturing endlessly on interpretation. Today's lecture is on verb choice and its influence on behavior. Example one! Can I have some of those chips? I would assume so. May I have some of those chips? Certainly. Obvious? Yes. Trite even. Annoying. Definitely. But accurate grammar. Let's look at another example. Example two. What, what are you doing? Buying my ticket to Convergence. I gotta get it in advance because it's it's like a lot more if you wait to buy at the door. Yeah. Sounds like an awesome concert. It's not a concert. It's a sci-fi convention. See the confusion caused by one word? Ticket! Let's try another synonym. What are you doing? I'm buying my registration for Convergence and checking out the programming. Do you get education credits for attending? Registration seems to also cause some confusion in connotation. What are you doing? I'm buying my membership to Convergence. I already signed up for some panels and I'm helping out in the con suite. Do you think there will be other fans of the Cimmerillion there? I have a new theory about the Ascari. Membership. Excellent word. Implies community, friendliness, camaraderie, companionship, participation, assistance, and fraternization. As one of the truly nitpicky, I know you will seize upon this perfect word to describe your presence here at Convergence. You are a member, a member of the community. You belong here. So, don't be a jerk. Pick up after yourself. And would it kill you to call your mother or fatherland once in a while? <sighs> For crying out loud. What's my line? <clears throat> Got it.